Welcome to the DIY series, How to Build a Food Truck. I am your host, Frank Baltieres, and uh, what we're doing is we're taking a 7x16 trailer, uh, an empty trailer, specifically by the brand Cargo Mate, which is the one that I have on my food truck, which is Rolling Burritos, and we're taking that empty shell and we're converting it into a full kitchen on wheels. And uh, these video series, I want to do a step-by-step -step on what we're doing, how we're doing it. And hopefully we can give you enough knowledge that you can do it yourself. If you don't want to buy ours, because we're at the end of the day, we're going to sell it. We're going to sell what I'm building on this YouTube series um, and see who wants to buy it out there. It's going to be a 7x16 trailer, a full kitchen. It's going to have the suppression system, the Ansel system as they call it, and uh, the refrigerator, everything, pretty much everything. Exactly. You're just ready to go. But if you do want to do it yourself, make sure that you contact your health department. Make sure that you find out exactly what they need and what they want from you guys and when it comes to the health requirements because that is so critical to your business because if they don't approve you based on what they want, then you're pretty much building it for nothing. So make sure that you contact your health department. This one that I'm building, I'm building it in the aspect of what DuPage County here in the state of Illinois wants. So make sure that you contact them with us here. They don't want any cabinets. A lot of food trucks that you see out there have cabinets on the floor uh, where they put the three compartment sink, where they put different uh, storage capabilities. With us, they want no cabinets. So that is a big difference between different counties, different health departments. So make sure that you build yours for the food truck that you, uh, for the county that you will be in. And there's a great time to be able to, since we have a little bit of downtime, we've been so busy doing caterings and neighborhood pop-ups with rolling burritos that I haven't been able to work on the food truck. And then it rained there a couple days, so I didn't want to work on it because uh, the trailer's outside and I don't want to be cutting outside. So we will be finishing up the ceiling this week. I uh, just want to give you guys an update. I don't have an update on construction right now, but I did want to give you the update that this is a great time to find out specifically what your health department wants. So that's your homework. I cannot help you there because I don't know what county you will be in. I don't know, everyone's so different. So make sure you do that. And then as we go through the construction process, because from here on out, we're gonna do the ceiling, we're gonna do the walls, and then everything, uh, we're gonna do the concession window, and then everything else besides that um, kind of falls into what your health department wants. So make sure that your walls are non-porous. Non-porous means that if you spray a cleaning solution on the walls, or if some type of liquid falls on the wall, you can literally wipe it right up with, uh, and it's not gonna soak into the, 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 the walls and the ceiling. So that's non-porous. And I use stainless steel and FRP. So with that, this is Frank Baltiers with a DIY series, how to build your food truck. Make sure that you contact your health department and get those codes that you need. So let's go on to the next one.